Hi there, boys and girls. Welcome to a review lesson on drawing conclusions with Mrs. Bostwick. When we draw conclusions, it helps us to understand the story better. We use story clues, combine it with what we know, and ta-da! We draw a conclusion. Look at the pictures and draw a conclusion. First, we have a hen with some eggs underneath it. Next, we have some chicks coming out of some cracked eggshells. Last, we have a hen in its nest with some chicks and some more eggs. Can we say that one, the chicks hatched, or two, the eggs dropped and broke? What conclusion can we draw from these picture clues? Tremendous! The chicks hatched. Let us read the short story. Answer the question and underline the keyword. Kimberly had a lot of homework to do. It was three pages long. She added and subtracted until her hand got tired. What kind of homework did Kimberly have? Was it A. Science or B. Mathematics? Terrific! She did have mathematics homework. Which keywords helped you to decide which type of homework she had? Added and subtracted. Very good. We know that when we are doing mathematics work, we can add or subtract. Let's read again. Answer the question and underline the keyword. Kimberly was very tired. She put on her pajamas, brushed her teeth, and crawled under the cover. What was Kimberly doing? Was she A. Getting ready for bed or B. Getting ready for school? Wonderful! She was surely getting ready for bed. Which keywords helped you decide on that answer? Let us underline them. Yes, she put on her pajamas, brushed her teeth, and crawled under the cover. Those keywords helped you to identify the correct answer and draw a conclusion. You are superb. Remember, practice makes perfect, so don't stop here. 